Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you have me watching. This is Risco in Tokyo. Uh, coming at you with some uh, Binding of Isaac, you know, the, the doing the rep rep. I'm just, I've got my fingers crossed that everything is going to be broadcasting correctly. It does say we're live. This is good. Video quality looks okay. I gotta get our tags gonna edit those tags up because that is important I need my trans tag up there yo T -R -A -N. transgender baby LGBT baby I think that does it yeah, yeah I think that, that looks pretty good done I need uh need my mods and I need to agree to my own chat rules I'm the, the, but I'm in chat. I'm the, I'm streaming. I'm the gal that's doing the streaming, yo. Why do I got to do my own chat rules? Um, how do I mod? See, I don't know people's users' names. I know Rabbit's user's name. I'm just letting it run for a little bit while I, um, I get things going. River Rabbit. Okay, so their name is the same as here. Do, do you think that the caps are important? I'm not sure. I'm gonna just do the caps the way that they've given me the caps and then with an underscore. The underscore is definitely important. So hopefully that'll do it. I know I didn't show up in chat or anything but whatever. I'm gonna take a just look. What I got things on my channel. It begins completed three minutes ago. I'm a creator. Achievement completed. We belong. Three minutes ago. I am also a creator. Uh, it is a new. It is a new um, room. Unfortunately, I hopefully people will follow the, uh, the the guide to get here. But I do want to get started. We're gonna go with file number three. And uh, it is rep rep. So Jacob and Bethany are still as of yet locked. We need a run with Lazarus. Um, lag doesn't seem to be too bad. About three seconds of lag. I can deal with that. Um, we need a run with Lazarus. And we need to get to the very end without dying. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the thing. And hopefully we will, uh, we will win. Um, I want them both and I'm going to take them. This is really dangerous considering what we're trying to do, but... Health up. Now, we, we do need to survive, so... That's going to be a primary concern. We're going to want a key, because I'm going to try to do the alt path, and we can get, um, we can get our good boys. Esau and, um, Jerkface. We can get those unlocked, too. Oh, Ghost Slinger! How you doing? It is a pleasure to see you tonight. I hope that you are very, very well. Uh, this is a semi-fresh file, in that it's, uh... It's the AB Plus file that's finished completely, but this is the very first play that we're doing on the current file. Er, hi, that didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> this is the first run that we're doing on this particular file for repentance. That's what I wanted to say. I hope that life is treating you very well. It has been a long time since I've been able to stream, unfortunately. But I am hopefully back. And uh, hopefully, I mean, I've got my fingers crossed as far as what the stream quality is going to be like. Because I've got a better internet connection now than I did, I think, I hope. So, you know, maybe it'll be okay. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed, basically. But we are still early on. There's not too many particle effects on the screen yet. Now we haven't gotten a key. 
and we are going to need to get a key, so if the game could be so kind as to shower us with two keys, also a bomb, I'd love to get a damage up. There's one key, okay. How about that bomb? Even if we can't get a second key, if you give me a bomb, that would be cool. I think Gimpy was definitely a good choice. And there's our bomb, so let's go get our damage. Uh, yeah, okay. Now this should be... I mean, we are going to be trying to fight Mother for the first time. And that is a little bit worrisome, but... Why? I mean, I'm glad. What is this wanting me to do? I'm not going to... Whatever. I'm... <laughs> Yikes! Twitch is being weird for me, but that's okay. That's perfectly okay. We're going to do this thing, and it's going to be done, and we're going to be winners. Why would you give me flying enemies? Why would you be so cruel as to give me flying enemies? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think that's very jerkbait. I... <laughs> didn't really expect to, uh, to get out of that. That, that little not-so-great spot that we were in. But we did. Now, nope, he definitely flies. <laughs> I don't know why I assumed that he, de he wouldn't fly, but... Like, that wall spider took damage. You are such a jerk. I'm um, not you, Ghost Slinger. I mean, this dude. Did he just spit just one ball at me? That's weird. Did, did, did you get nerfed? Do you periodically only spit one ball? Oh, I see what happened. It got blocked. It got blocked by the rock. Yeah, okay. Binky is fabulous. We are super cool with Binky. And we are going to be super cool with uh, Rockin' On here. But... I don't know. Curse of the Unknown. We, we know that we have... We know that we have two red hearts. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he was nerfed. I just didn't notice there was that rock in the center of the room that was blocking his shots. Um... We know we have two red hearts and half a silver heart. And that's enough for us. Now we do need to remember that we don't want to actually die as Lazarus. We want to be careful to not die so that we can get the Bethany unlock. Because it's such it's like such a muscle memory to just whatever, I'm going to die. I'll uh, just take a deal with the devil that's going to kill me. Ah, could you, could you not though? Yeah, that's... Locus of Famine is fine. It's not It's not great. It's not bad. But I would like a key. And I'm going to hold off on taking this silly-ass pill. Oh, shit! Um, not cool. Not cool, Wormwood. You're not supposed to tag me like that. Okay, two red hearts. Remember that we have two red hearts, Visco? And all our dreams will come true. It could happen to you if you've got two red hearts. Oh shit. <laughs> Almost got really screwed there. Ah, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Nice! That is, um, what you call skill. I would love to get Ghost Baby, and by Ghost Baby I mean Little Brimstone. <laughs> and definitely not Ghost Baby. But, I think we need to shepherd our HP a little bit more. So unfortunately, Little Brim, as helpful as Little Brim would be, uh, is going to have to take a backseat. Now, if we don't pick up bombs, I'm going to be one salty girl. I'll tell you that much. The salt will be coming off of me in droves. And I would... You know, could you give me a key? Would that be asking too much? I feel like it shouldn't be. I feel like the, your keys are they are pretty basic in the game. Card against humanity, eh? Fuck it, let's... This sucks! 
What is wrong with this run? It's not giving me crap. I mean, it literally gave me crap because the card against humanity, but... You know, I... I ask for so precious little, game. I ask for so precious little and you give me less. Why must you do this to me? Why must you be so unimaginably cruel? Honestly, though, the, the cruelness that this game displays is just unmitigated. All right, I'm, I'm laying it on a little bit thick, just a little bit thick, but, you know, at the same time, it's just a little bit rude. Now, I don't want to do this, but I am going to shoot the poops. The money is good because of uh, money equals power. And we could pick up conceivably some HP that would actually be useful. I'm kind of holding out for petrified poop. But, you know, this is not how I really wanted to spend my evening, just shooting the poops. You gotta do what you gotta do, though. Sometimes what you gotta do is shoot those poops. Life gives you a room of poops, and, you know, he's, he's like, hey, can I, just, can I just spend an hour shooting these, shoot these poops? Who knows? Now, I personally have never gotten money out of poop, but I've never cried on it either, so maybe that is the mistake. Maybe if I was crying on my poop, I would be rolling in dough? I don't know. It all seems so difficult. And foolish. And we're just... I'm, I'm glad for the money. Could you give me one silver heart? I don't think that's asking so much. I mean, silver hearts are a possible payout here. Maybe? Maybe? No? No, no, no. no it's, I mean, it's cool. If you don't wanna. If you don't wanna, I'm not gonna... Don't get on your case. I'm just, I'm just thinking, you know, if it were me, I would give at least one, just to be kind. Lucky Penny. I mean, I'm down for it. Again, like, I'll, I'll take it, but it's not really what I'm looking for, game. We're almost out of poops, game, and you haven't given me a- thank you. Thank you, game. See? See, we could do this. It's, it's it's fucking teamwork over here. I can't believe we're at 83 coins on the second floor. But we just don't have the, the bombs. And I absolutely forgot to go to the curse room. Does adding brimstone do anything to Azazel? I don't remember also like wait why is that was that held for bullying uh ghost slinger i'm really sorry i didn't see the, the comment apparently the comment got held for bullying which is like and the word that was held was azazel um which as far as i know is not a word for bullying but whatever um it I, it doesn't increase Azazel's range, as far as I remember. Now, you keep on giving me these flying enemies. It's almost like you're trying to tell me something, game. And the thing that you're trying to tell me is that you don't want me to utilize my free lemonade. And I don't know why. I, I mean, I did set up auto mod to have, like light modding but it's that's really bizarre now I'm gonna have to kind of dork around with auto auto mod even more to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do Horf. great good to know good to know Horf. you're not you, game you you're killing me here you are not giving me any consumables that I actually need is the thing have you considered maybe hooking a girl up? Is is all I'm saying? Shit. Nah. 
think the game's just gonna be a jerk. Man. I want this run to pop off, but... But we got a key. I'm, I'm here for the key. And there was a curse room that we could check once we become good damage there. That was amazing. Well done. Uh, there's a curse room that we could check once we become pseudo-lost. So I will endeavor to do that. But... I mean, really, this run is just killing me? And not in the fun way, but in the de definitely not fun way. There's our mirror room. There's our ghost fire room. Alright, let's get that sorted. Actually, check out our item room. Please be something good. Tough love is... Yeah. Tough love's... love is pretty good. Wait, um... And now, it's, it's trying to auto-mod you for saying baby? What? Twitch! What the hell, Twitch? Well, I'm running Azazel and I'm stuck between Brimstone or Demon Baby. Oh, wow. That's... Actually kind of a, a tough choice. Because Demon Baby is pretty fabulous. And that's not even joking. Now I'm going to have to keep on looking over my shoulder at the actual laptop to make sure that Twitch isn't stinging you with, with goofiness anymore. Give me bombs. I'm just... I'm begging. Uh, that, that, that is not a bomb. I guess, like, we go to the shop? Maybe the shop will have a bomb? Bombs are key? It's a range up? Like, we're getting fabulous pills? I guess not. I kind of had that with Twitch on a friend stream today as well, so... Like, Twitch is being extremely twitchy. I don't know if there's a particular reason, because... Yeah, you know, they're not actually solving any of the real problems, but... Marrow? I mean, sure, I guess. We've got no bombs. Fudge! I don't really feel like clearing every room, but... We gonna have to? Or we're just not gonna be able to go on to the mines? Bad trip. Thanks. Good to know. I mean, good to know it exists, I suppose. And it didn't kill us immediately. But... Like, this is not looking like a very strong mother run. Unfortunately... Just a bomb. That's a key. That did, did, see, a, a, a key game, I don't know how to tell you this, but a key is not a bomb. It's so weird. Well, I mean, it's not weird, it's just randomness being random. But at the same time, you know, I'm kind of disappointed here. Giving us all the wrong stuff at all the right times. There's a bomb. Like, I guess. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna buy the Bible. Because if, big if, if we can get to the mom fight, like the dark mom fight, then the Bible will be a pretty good thing to have. But it's not looking good. They might give us a bomb on this floor. So, you know, I'm just gonna have to cross my fingers and hope. 
get some of our damage back. Love the silver heart. I would like to play the judgments, but... I don't know. Is the extra damage... Or is the loss of damage worth the potential gain in HP? Because we're definitely going to get a payout. You know what? I think, honestly, I think it is. If we get a payout in actual HP. So, like, hook a girl up. Please? Excellent. Now, we'll be a real winner winner chicken dinner if we pick up Blood Bank here. If we pick up Blood Bank here? No, 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 no. Eh, you know. It was worth crossing the toes on. Now, we do have two bombs now. We, we do have two bombs, so we can go to the mines. It's, it's all coming together. I, I don't know what that's going to mean for us, but... Because the mines kind of suck. Uh, we got a full card. So there's that. I should probably hold off on playing the the machine here, but I don't know. Also, hold on. I've got a... Let me check a quick message I got on Discord. Um, from Hive, Dual Sense is still a thumb killer. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to reply really quick to Hive. He is Hive. We're live now. Come on in so I can mod you. Cool. <laughs> Got that sorted. And then at least, like, hopefully Hive will also stick around. I'm not going to force them to. You know, it's... I understand everybody's got schedules, everybody's got things that they got going on in their life, but it would be pretty cool. And it would also mean that I wouldn't have to pay quite so much attention to the, uh, the chat to make sure that Twitch isn't auto-modding you <laughs> for no reason at all. <laughs> Ghost Slinger. I am not taking tiny freaking planet, game. What is wrong with you, game? Why would you... Now I'm starting to think... I, I know you're ghost. I know you're all good. <laughs> um, I'm now I'm starting to think to myself like, Hey, what if I... What if I did take Tiny Planet? What if, what if that worked out for us? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't think it could possibly be a good idea, but... Hive! Hive! Ah! I live again! I'm gonna mod you up, Hive. I couldn't remember how to spell your name. <laughs> there we are. Did you get the mod sword, Hive? I mean, did that work? Are you a mod now? I hope you're a mod now. Oh good, yes, you have the mod sword. Hive, it is wonderful to see you as well. I do live. Um, you've got a little bit sword. Yes, you have tools. It looks like we're all good. The connection seems like it's holding okay for right now. Question marks stinks. Full health is amazing. I almost did. That would have been really silly. So I've I've got my fingers to my fingers toes. I've got my toes crossed. Connection seems better than at the old place. Um, it definitely is better than the like the weird air Wi-Fi thing that I was using before. So, I mean I I. I really don't know how these things work, but 
like I I'm hoping <laughs> life has been frustrating, you know, and to have to be able to stream again, build up the community again. Uh it would Now don't use more than one bomb. It would mean a lot. So yeah. I'm just I'm just hoping here. I am kind of cheesed off though a little bit that we had to um we 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 had to actually make a whole new channel because I couldn't get my channel back from Twitch. Even though I I admit I admit that it was, you know, partially my fault in the sense that I I forgot my own password, but you know, I, mean, I I think I was able to get in touch with everybody, so... Oh, it's Hirunda! Hirunda, it's so good to see you! Hail, hail! The, the gang is filling in! It is wonderful to see Hirunda. I hope that life is treating you very, very well. I hope that life is treating you very well as well, Hive. I don't know if I said that explicitly, but I want to make sure that it's known that I mean it explicitly it's it's just wonderful to be back on it is it's it feels really good feels really good I, I finally can share all the weird ass movies that I've been watching and it is good that people are filling in hopefully this will, will continue and we'll I, w I was able to catch everyone. It's a little hard because I don't have like everyone's contact is the problem, you know? But yeah, yeah. Now this is the Mines 2. I've got to remember that this is the Mines 2. It's not the Mines 1. So we, we got to go get the, the knife piece from Mother. Um, what do we want? Leech is pretty good, but we should have gone with Leech. <laughs> Belly button is exquisitely okay. <laughs> I have a silly thing to recommend if you have the time. DNF Duel is doing a beta at the moment. It's much more approachable finding game than uh, Guilty Gear Exert. Maybe I'll take a look at that. Do you think would my um would my system be able to handle it do you think it's always a little bit hard for me to to judge that although if it's a it's a beta so it's free i'm guessing although it's like how long is the beta running did you say it was only for the weekend it's a ps4 game and it's free for this weekend okay so i'm going to have to think about that because I got work tomorrow, but I could conceivably play a little bit in the evening. Mother! I it was going to do it. That was terrible. I deserve to take that damage. I was going to do a Glenn Danzig thing, but then I couldn't get the voice right, and then it all just fell apart. It was like a mix between Glenn Danzig and, you know, um, Freddie Mercury with Bohemian Rhapsody, so it, it just wasn't going to work, is, is basically what I'm getting at here. Oh, the, the new boy content is... it's fabulous. It's pretty difficult. To be honest, um, but, like, it is just, the amount of work that's gone into this DLC is frankly amazing. Oh, crumbs. Crumbs, crumbs, crumbs. DNF Dual PS, open beta test, Jisetsu, KST, JST, December 18th. 11 o'clock to December 20th, uh, 11 o'clock p.m. 
Hmm. I mean, it's it's not it's not it's not something I would be a averse to checking out. Oh, it's Ludo! Ludo! It is wonderful to see you, Ludo. I hope that you are very very well. It's been a long time uh, since I rock and rolled this way. Been a long time, been a long time, been a long, lonely, 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 long time. DNF Duel, aka the beta without training mode or private lobbies. You know, but do we really want to, like, wall off our lobbies in, into gated garden pastures or something? I don't know. There was a metaphor I had going here, gated communities or something, and maybe yeah, housing associations, but it fell apart. As it does, sometimes. Now, we do want to have a care not to lose too much HP here. DNF Duel, aka without training mode, private lobbies, or, as was the case for a while, online play. It's a little bit problematic. If you could chat voice chat, then, uh, gate that stuff. Well, I mean, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> You're not, you're not specifically wrong. There's a, there, there's a lot of people that I would want to, to gate out of my community. <laughs> Working on... Where did my brain meats go? I think my brain meats got eaten by a combination in rapid succession of Blue Monkey and Bad Taste. Those are my back-to-back -back movies the other week. So, they kind of did a thing. How have things been going for everybody? Um, it, it, a, a mixed bag, Ludo. Some good things, definitely. Some things that I, I would really like to see improve. But I've been doing... Um, I've been doing Isaac recordings, and it's been wonderful. I've been setting up the hub for LBSP recordings, and that's wonderful. Um, can't complain about any of that. I've been watching a lot of movies, and some of them are exquisitely bad, and I kind of love it. Ooh. Now, some of them are just bad bad, like, for example, Army of the Dead, which was a hot trash fire. It wasn't even- I can't even say it was a trash fire, because a trash fire could be enjoyable. It was just hot trash. What else have I watched? I got, gotta pull the- I gotta pull the list out. Bad taste is exquisitely bad. The- the only, like, downside to bad taste is there's this extremely 80s gunfight. Like, right in the- the, the last half, or maybe the last quarter of the movie, that goes on for fucking ever. Like, honestly, it's 15 minutes long, and it's just... The, 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 the hero is jumping around, diving undercover. Uh, the villain's dying from implied wounds. And this is a very strange thing, because Bad Taste is not a movie that's shy about its gore. It's, like, if, if it's got its gore right out there on its sleeves, and on your sleeves, and on the cast sleeves, and on the crew's sleeves. The gore is basically every fucking wear in Bad Taste, but suddenly they're doing a gunfight, you know, where you could have bits and pieces of bodies exploding left and right, because, you know, gunfire is pretty damaging to people, and they play it completely straight like an 80s action movie. It's... Uh, how would you say Bad Taste is for a debut? Hive, honest to god, I have no effing idea how he got any other money for any other projects in his life. I do not understand how the man did just not get, get given a, a mop and, and be told, Mr. Jackson, we hate to tell you this, but your services would be better served in janitorial services because it's like it's all over the place 
the the acting is I I feel like if you take it as almost a parody then the acting is kind of acceptable and maybe it's more acceptable for the time but it's very broad and it's very like it's not good and Peter Jackson's acting which maybe is why he went into direction and not acting is really bad um this bad taste is previous to Meet the Feebles. Meet the Feebles was his follow-up uh, effort. Peter Jackson's like a... He was a terrible actor, and he's kind of gross, to be to be frank. Um, the shot composition is... Like, it's okay. It's nothing you'd write home about, to be honest. Dialogue is trash. And a lot of times is barely hearable. Maybe just because of the limitations of what they were working with. One thing I do have to say about Bad Taste, besides the gore in its favor, apparently this was a labor of love over the course of four fucking years. Jackson made this film on his weekends with his friends and people that he knew for four years. So, I mean, you gotta at least say that he was dedicated to the craft. And I don't mean the awesome 90s witch movie, although that is something I need to watch again, because I haven't seen it in years. Oh, it's Dragon! How you doing, Dragon? It is a pleasure to see you. Hi, thank you very much for bringing, uh, for bringing Dragon into the chat. I hope that you're doing very, very well tonight. I hope that life is treating you gently. This is our first chat back in, like, maybe... It was our first stream back in about six months, so... I'm, like, riding... Oh my god, buttons! Ah! Ah, buttons! It is so good to see you! It is so good to see you. I hope that you're doing very, very well. I hope that life is treating you extremely gently. And I'm, I'm very happy to see you. And my brain is everywhere right now. Um, if you made three trashy horror movies, you get to make a decent trilogy afterwards. It's the Raimi rule. Um, quite possibly, Ludo. It's really bizarre, though. Like, I, I honestly can't figure just how he got work, because it's... It's just not a good movie. It's a, it's a, it's a fun movie. I had a good time with it, but, like... It's not a movie I can imagine any producer would look at and be like, Oh yeah, you're somebody that we want to hand money to. Good to be here. I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Buttons. It is, uh, it is very good to have you. It's very good to have all y'alls tonight. I, now I'm like, I'm supposed to... And I... I oh, I forgot about these dudes. Um, I think I'm gonna try to stream just to 11 o'clock, but it's gonna be really hard because I'm just filled with excitement. He tried for years to get money for Lord of the Rings and it checks out with that body of work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I just don't get that's... I've... I forgot all the fuck about Heavenly Creatures. That's an interesting point, because Heavenly Creatures is very much more a palatable film. Yeah! I got the panel set up, I do. I, I basically just copy-pasted them from the public page. I hate these guys. Could you stop? Please! Jesus! I can't hit them! Damn it! No. Uh... I do... more... It's been a while, but I do remember you. I don't want you to worry too much. Prayer card. Do we take it? Um... Yeah. 
Hollywood gave him money for Frighteners and the MPPA was lol, we're gonna slap an R on this no matter how much you cut out of it. And the movie flopped. You know, I liked the Frighteners. I thought the Frighteners was a pretty solid film. Kamikaze was not the, the get that I wanted. And that sucks. I think Frighteners deserved better than it got. Gary Busey's kid is actually a lot of fun to watch in The Frighteners. It was a solid film. Hive, it was absolutely a solid film. I am here for Frighteners action. I... I... didn't super like, um... What's his name? Lee Emmett Emery? I always forget his name. The, 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 the dude who always plays drill sergeants. He's always, like, a super douchey drill sergeant in a mold that drill sergeants haven't been like for decades, apparently. Um, if ever. He kind of sucked, but he kind of always sucks because he kind of always plays the same damn character. And it's the douchey drill sergeant. Like, I've never seen him play anybody else. I don't think... Get how Frighteners got an R rating. Maybe I'm forgetting something, uh, but it was decent, though. I think Frighteners got an R rating because the MPAA wanted to give it an R rating. Honestly. Like, I think they looked at his, his other stuff and was just like, nah, we're just gonna fuck you, basically. It's weird because Frighteners kind of has a tone of a Ghostbusters movie and not a gore flick. You're not wrong. You're, you are absolutely not wrong. It's like... And even more so because it's yeah, Visco. What that was terrible damage. It's very much like he's the Vankman like con artist who just happens to be able to actually see ghosts. But he's he's got the whole con thing going on. Frighteners was aiming to be an MPAA, uh, a family movie, but the MPAA's got an MPAA. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any familiars, so I don't think Song of the Forgotten is going to help us, so we're going to leave it. Yeah. But it's, um... Hi, my, my, like, my, my brain meets just completely shut the fuck off for a second there. Um... Yeah, it, I, I do think, I mean, I guess it worked out in the end, you know, for Jackson. He, he, he got Lord of the Rings, he got to do The Hobbit, he made all the monies in the world, so... And, and, and good on him. You know, I don't think I've heard too much about Peter Jackson being a, an awful human being. But, um... It, it definitely Frighteners should have gotten better than it got. Did The Hobbit actually make big bucks? I mean, I don't know if The Hobbit made big bucks, but I, I've got to imagine that Jackson did well enough off of it. But... Actually, yeah, I have no idea how well The Hobbit did, ultimately. The man single-handedly built up the New Zealand film industry and destroyed the New Zealand film industry with one franchise. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> All the saddest trombones. Wait, like, did he... I mean... How did he destroy the industry, though? Just because, like, people hated The Hobbit? Did people hate The Hobbit, by the way? Oh, his most recent flaw... Oh, right, Mortal Engines? I forgot all the fuck about that. Which you would kind of think, like, how could you forget a movie about giant tank cities? But he didn't direct it. Okay. Fair enough. So many things feel like they've happened in the last two years, and I just don't re remember anything anymore. And I think that's... Fair, because I didn't remember anything for like the 40 years that preceded those two years, but even still, like... I feel like there's about 6,000 little bits of media that just like, I have no idea. I guess it happened. Look, these little brimstone dudes have gotta go. 
he kind of fucked working standards as far as I know, since you can circumvent the U.S. Actors Guild or something in New Zealand. There's a lot going on there. Okay, that's not cool. And I, I did not know that. Okay, I gotta think here for a second. I gotta think here for a second. Like, soy milk is a mistake, right? We've already broken tear cap. But soy milk plus nose goblins? Plus eye of Belial? Like, is it a mistake? Ah, this is such a hard decision! I don't... No, they were having serious uh, issues when Del Toro was set to direct and WB got cold feet and Australia's film actors fraternity pushed hard on the NZ film industry employees if they'd continue producing the films. Huh. I did not know any of that. Hold on, I gotta pull out my headphones again because... Uh, my headphones have been really wonky recently. Give me a sec. <sighs> I wish I knew the problem with my head. Can you... How are we doing right now? Is it is it back? Good. Okay. Now that makes me really really worried about all of the f recording that I've done all 11 12 episodes that I've already recorded. Not feeling great about that. <laughs> oh no. Because there have been a couple times when, like, the mic has died out on me. So... <sighs> it, you know, it's cool, right? Everything's okay, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Oh shit, okay. Wanna watch out? Mics are a curse. Mics are fucking awful. My, I have the worst luck with headset mics. Swear to God. Uh, definitely grab the negative. Um, I have no desire for that, so we're just gonna leave that. And... Flat penny or counterfeit penny? How deep are you in the game, Ghost Slinger? If it's early game, counterfeit penny? Because the money's gonna help you out more? Uh, if it's later in the game, flat penny, because you'll want the extra keys for the chest. I wish I could ship you a headset. I've got one with an inbuilt mic ready to go, and I don't use it because it doesn't fit my giant head. I... 
not gonna lie, I kind of wish you could send me a headset too. <laughs> I hate to put that on you, but... <laughs> I haven't killed mom yet. Um... I would go with flat penny because unless you're going to the hush fight, extra cash is probably going to help you out that much. Might try something in the new year when shipping sells down a bit. Um, honestly, like Hive, I wouldn't say no, but, but I wouldn't want you to go out of your way about it either. So, like... Let's leave this way on the back burner, I guess. I don't think I can gaffle a microphone. There's like a lot of things that I can gaffle, but I think microphones might not be one of them. Although probably the less said about gaffling, the better. <laughs> Just for my own continued employment. Um... Let's leave it as an offer you can cash in at a later date. I think that's probably for the best. I think that'll probably leave, leave us both feeling the most comfortable. Um, Lisco, don't be, don't be taking this damage now. Like, you ain't got... This is not the time to be taking the damage. We've got a bead on a mom kill, or a mother kill, as it were. And I would really like to get that sorted. So, could we not die? Also, if maybe they want to give me the rest of my money back. My money back, my money back. Give me my money back. Those gotta die. You gotta die. It's gotta happen. Sorry about that. I, I do think this run is sorted. The full health is not really gonna help us out that much, unfortunately. Unless we pick up something good here, which we might. Is it worth getting this Street Fighter V at this point? Though I guess I'm inclined to do s less inclined to do so for NFT reasons. Ooh, Street Fighter's doing NFTs. Oh, also, by the way, Buttons, I I completely forgot to, to to catch you on your question about the soy milk. So soy milk raises your tears rate like amazingly, but and so tears is basically your DPS in Isaac. But it drops your damage like a rock. And we've had some extra damage up items, so like it didn't tag us as badly as it could have. But usually when you're on this floor, you're probably rocking double digit damage. I almost said double D damage, which is completely different. Um, and you need it. And you'll notice that we are at 2.97 damage, which is less than starting damage so it's kind of it kind of sort of evens out because of the the high tears rate but it, it can be a really big gamble but luckily we had shit to back it up like the nose goblins because that puts uh almost kind of like a poison effect on enemies where it's damage over time and i think it's your damage stat applied over time which is really good uh, as for KOF, Sync is now owned by a company owned by the Prince of Saudi Arabia, so that's kind of made me mildly iffy about trying it out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, every, recently, just about every known game company that I know of has just been really slimy. Straight up, Hirunda? Straight up, no fucking thanks? Apparently they sold their stakes. At least it's hard to find out if they're still involved. Huh. That's interesting. If they've sold their stakes, that would be good. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Or toes crossed for the, the stakes being sold. Also, if I just, like, suddenly stop... If I go si silent again for a while, folks, let me know. Just so that I can... I can know, basically. Try to get the... get the mic fixed once again. The other thing that's got me iffy about trying out... Oh, I hate this room. Give me a second. <laughs> can't... I can't read anything while I'm doing this room, because... 
basically all the spike gimmick rooms in this floor suck. The other thing that's got me iffy about KOF is uh, KOF allegedly is super hard. Yeah. Don't need that. The old KOF games were the hard ones. See, I, d I don't know if I've played any KOF since the old, old games. Because I know I have played KOF. But... In honestly, maybe decades? I wish we could have gotten some extra damage and extra health, but such is life. I do know the Guilty Gear players have told me that KOF is hard. Alright, now I am going to have to focus a little bit here for a second, folks. I will try to keep making mouth sounds so that you know the mic's not broken, but uh, this is a, a not great fun fight. I mean, it's a good fight, but it is a pain in the ass, so... Gonna have to, to have a care. I can let that go. I can let that damage go. I'm okay with that. Alright, we're on the second phase. Second phase? We I think we've got this. Especially if Mother goes into a loop where she keeps on... This I hate. I hate this! That attack, I honest to god, I cannot, I cannot parse this attack. If we die, it'll be because of that attack. Oh shit. Fuck. Please. Okay. Okay. Just, just effing die. Or charge. Charge as much as you want. Mother, I mean, swear to God, if you want to do charge attacks all day long, by all means, please do. I... I meant that literally, but I didn't expect you to take me up on it. Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. Ah, please go away. Thank you! <laughs> ah, that was good. That was good. Oh yeah, baby. Mother mother fight is done. I'm not going to run this one because this is really really depressing animation and I I don't want to subject people to that. Um, we definitely need some like serious content warnings on that that animation, so we're just not gonna watch it. Um, slick, 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 slickness. I am gonna take a quick break here. Give my uh, give my throat meets a little bit of water. Grab myself a smoke. So basically, completely nullifying the benefits of the water. I would encourage all of you if you need. Uh, to take a stretch, if you need to get some hydration in, if you are on any medication that is currently, you know, this is the time to be taking it, then uh, please do that whilst I'm on my break. I'll probably still shout at the mic because I can do that, but I'm not going to have the mic on my head. So, I will be, be back in five. Ah, my ears. Headphone. Oh my god, it's pressing my... Tunnels in my ears. By the way, Luda, when you said that stretching ears hurt, you were you were wrong about that. Holy cripes. Ear stretching hurts like a on the big end? A lot? There was a lot of pain. I had a significant amount of pain for some of these stretches. So next time Ludo gives us advice about body modification, I think that we should all accept that advice. Not try to be like, oh no, I'm a bad bitch. I gotta worry about that. Pain, whatever. Pain, please, sure. I was kind of worried about my ear meets. If you don't hear me out, then I'll show you how bad Australia internet really is. Ooh. Your little stretch and be hurting, Ludo. No joke. 
Not a joke in the least. <coughs> body stretching. Body stretching don't be hurt. Body stretching feels pretty good, but I'm thinking Ludo of going like 22 or 24. I think it's gonna be my max out. I think beyond that it's gonna be uh, maybe a little bit too big. But I'm not sure yet. Because I was saying that at like 16, and I was like, eh, you know, you can bump it up to 18, ain't no problem. And then this weekend, so we can hit up some matches with 7 plus breaks and full back. I can't, I can't imagine the joy of fighting games with, um, that much life. Luna was I went to 22 millimeters, it got easier toward the end. Yeah, like, eight, going from 16 to 18 was a lot easier than going from 14 to 16. Definitely. Um, but it, it, it still was like, I don't know why, about why my left earlobe has got to be what it's got to be, because the, the, the right earlobe, like, it hurt a little bit, but it was like, yeah, you know, just kind of ease it in there, get it in there, and it, it, it went in, but the left one, holy dogs. And of course, I had to get the left one in, because I already had the right one in. You can't be wearing, like, a, an 18 tunnel on your right ear and then a 16 acrylic plug on your left ear. You look just goofy. You look goofy. Especially if your plug's wrapped up with green electrical tape. If you don't wait for it to heal fully, it can be bad to continue, so maybe that was the issue. It might have been... I'm trying to think of how much of a gap there was between the... between going 16 to 18. I want to say a month and a couple of weeks, maybe, you know? So it's a little hard for me to remember how many months back. I'd have to check, check my Twitter. It was either a month and a couple of weeks, or it was three weeks. It depends what paycheck I bought the, the, the accounts on. Yeah, left ear is weird though. The left ear is always giving me, like, every time I've jumped up, the left ear is giving me trouble. I don't know why. It's very wonky though. It's a warning. Maybe it's telling me I should be on the left hand path or something.
All right, we are back. The voice is still coming through, I hope. Got my fingers crossed. Oceana as a region is just hard to get in, to get like into fighting games. I don't know which games they focus on most. There's not that many players. Voice is coming through still, excellent. That is what I wanted to hear. We are gonna jump right into it with Bethany, and we're gonna try I don't know if we can, but we're going to try to do the beast path with Bethany. So, got our fingers crossed on that one. Try playing Melty Blood type Lumina with some folks in Canada and it was a bad time. Bad time because the game wasn't fun, or because the connection was bad, or just because Canada. Strive ran better when I played some folks in America, but it's the luck of the draw. Connection. Gotcha. Now, Bethany's gig, in case uh, for folks who haven't played any Repentance, Bethany's... Uh, hi, Brain Meets. <sighs> Bethany's activated item, her, her, her spacebar item, as it were, is the Book of Virtues. Book of Virtues produces a wisp every four rooms that will circle you, protect you from damage, shoot ghost shots, and uh, it has a health of three, so it can take three shots and then it dies. But what Beth Bethany's Book of Virtues also does is it will tether together with any spacebar item to produce a unique wisp, or a semi-unique wisp, not, not a purely unique wisp, and it will keep the spacebar item's natural charge so a one-room spacebar item, your Book of Virtues now has a one-room charge. Now, usually, like, the one-room charges or the continuous charging items, the Wisps don't stick around, but... They can be quite amazing. Like, the Wisps that are produced from the candle are just pretty great. I've been trying to find people, but social anxiety disorder has been making reaching out hard. Uh, that's completely fair. Has it been more of an issue recently, lately, for you, Hive? And I hope the answer is no, but that probably is not the case. Um, okay, we're on the right track. There's no reason to go to the shop, so let's just beat feet. Now, Bethany's other thing is that she cannot pick up anything but red hearts and bone hearts. So it kind of sucks. Keeping deals with the angel or deals with the devil, quite difficult with Bethany. Hives says has been an issue in cases where I have to actively seek people out, like with getting matches in a fighting game. Um, that's understandable. That's definitely a move. But hopefully not too much in your day-to-day -day life. I think I've... Uh, matchmaking channels so they could just ask there and people are generally very friendly. That's cool. Day-to-day -day it's gotten easier. That makes me really happy to hear. And I hope that continues to be the case. Because social anxiety sucks! It is the sucks ors. And I, for one, don't like it. It made, uh, it made trying to get the job really quite difficult, <laughs> to say the least. And even now it kind of makes uh, some interactions a little bit tough. Even when I know that they shouldn't be tough. Right? It's kind of like, it's easier sometimes, it feels like it's easier just to wall up, but then you can't get away with that because this world certainly isn't going to let you uh, just not interact with the world. Because you got to be productive, and to be productive you got to have a job. Not bitter, not, not, not bitter, slightly bitter, okay just a little bit bitter. Bitter like a good coffee, I think. 
Although I, you know, I kind of would like to experience the world a little bit, so... This world with no UBI... <laughs> mood? What I wouldn't give for um, a UBI? Like, that would be just... <sighs> Hold on a second. I, I, I really don't want to lose my deal with the angel here. But this room is, like, designed for me to lose my deal with the angel is the thing. Now, we do want to kind of go a little bit quick, too, because we want to try to hit boss rush. So... If you could... Speed up, Bethany. We're going to do this poop, because the, the poop worked out for us really well the last, last run, but... Hive says, um... I live in a country where the current prime minister is a prosperity god. I remember you talking about that uh, way back in the day, and that sounds just like the worst possible thing that you could possibly have. Luda says it's getting, it's letting me hold up pretty well, but I got rich country with healthcare privilege. I, I, one thing, although Japan's social services are. I would say not good. <laughs> the the healthcare has been pretty good because I did have like that that healthcare thing going on last month, and it was cheap. Now that's physical healthcare. There's like no mental healthcare to speak of, so there's that. But like one of my doctor's appointments was 350 yen, which is. Like, you know, half a pack of smokes? Yeah. Yeah. My blood work? Uh, my, my first doctor's appointment that I, I went to when she was convinced that maybe I have syphilis, which apparently, you know, is a thing that they're blaming on foreigners these days, so now I know why she just assumed that perhaps I had syphilis and that was my problem. Turns out, folks, spoilers, by the way, I don't. Thank you very much. Um... But my blood work for that was 26 bucks. Yeah, yeah, it was like uh, the appointment plus the blood work was 26 bucks. Yeah. I was not like super happy with. Oh shit, there goes my deal with the angel! There goes my deal with the angel! I was not, like, super duper pleased with the doctor, because I was like, you know, listen, lady, I know that you want to dot every I and cross every T, but I kind of know my history pretty well at this point. I have a wisdom tooth removed surgically this month. I wish medical stuff was that was always that cheap. I don't think, um, I don't think dental is covered under insurance here, Hirunda. I'd have to ask Honey Bunny because I haven't been to the dentist in like many, many years. It's been a long time since I've been to the dentist, like over a decade, but and certainly not in Japan. But I think the dental is not covered by. God damn it! I really wanted that deal with the angel. Oh well, such is life. No deal with the angel. This, if, you know, if we, if, if we don't, if we keep on missing out on angel deals, that could be a really big problem for us. We're going to endeavor to not, but... I'm you know, a little bit worried about that. Because to do the beast path, the beast path splits off at Necropolis, at the crypt, so, well the depths, not the crypt, that's something else. Um, so like you don't have a lot of time to build up a lot of power, and if you keep on missing out on deals with the angel, deals with the devil, it, it can get, it, it can go downhill really quick. So we're... Kinda gotta, gotta fingers crossed on this one. If we could get a bone heart, like that would sort us. I mean, keeping the bone heart alive is the problem, but 
Oh, Kronos! You are here. I need to mod you. Give me a second. I am so good. I am so good. I am so glad to see you, Kronos. It is wonderful. I don't want to start a goal. I want to mod Kronos. Get Twitch, get your crap off my screen. S P O O K Y. These are zeros, right, Kronos? I always get them confused. B O G I E. Spooky bougie. Good. All right, you are um, you are modded. Wield the sword with kindness, with gentleness. But it is wonderful to see you, Kronos. I hope you are doing very, very well. I hope that your eye meets are perfect. I've honestly spent more time than you would think thinking about your eye meets. Oh God, does this run? How, why would they give us this run after the last one? Is it to tease us? Is it like, we're just going to give you a whatever? Good runs, bad runs, you're going to get your fill? Uh, I think we... Oh, this sucks! It's not what we wanted! I am displeased! Uh, do we... Do we shoot for the item room? I think we gotta give up on boss rush already. Like, it's just... Now you fucking fuck. Of course. I think boss rush is just not gonna happen. A bit of irritation on the side of the face. Aside from that, I missed are pretty much a non-issue. Chronos, that is wonderful news. I am so glad to hear it. It's been like a year, I think, about a year, since the eye meets started to get a little bit wonky. Oh, you fucking fucks! Please. I can't. I can't, I can't do this run. It's going to see us in our graves. Bethany. Tainted Bethany is where it's at. Regular Bethany is... Okay, that was my fault. Regular Bethany is strictly okay. What? Risco, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Like, honest to God, why would you do that? You saw the spikes. You just walked right onto them. You can't even say that you're... It's because you were drunk? Because you haven't had anything to drink in five months? Go me. So I don't know why I just suddenly started playing so badly, but apparently that's just the way it, it, it's going to be. This run is going to it's gonna tease us. With It's not going to tease us. The run is just going to watch me play bad. Huh. <sighs> Thank you so much, Buttons! It's been weird. Like... It's been... Not... Too... Tough? I wanna say? Like, I don't find myself wanting to drink precisely. But there are definitely... Oh, fuck me sideways. Punching bag! Game! This is what you give me? This is what you give me. This is what you, you... You're like, yeah, here, take punching bag. That's gonna save your run. <laughs> um... I don't... Like... Okay, Mr. Dolly's fine. That's distinctly not fine, but sure, whatever. I don't really find myself wanting to drink, but there's certainly times I, I find myself wanting to be very, very drunk. If that makes sense. I haven't done it because of the whole I'm really not interested in drinking thing and there's just no alternative to alcohol here. But yeah, yeah. Five months is the longest I've gone in 18 years without drinking, so that's definitely a go me. I mean, I think it does. Kronos? <gasps> Actually good items? What the fuck? 
How are we, how do we get good items, game? Were you just suddenly gonna hook me up? Yeah, like I don't I don't regret not having started sooner. Although I I I, I definitely think like not spending the alcohol money when I was actually making money as a teacher as opposed to working as a cashier would probably have greater effect on my like living on my day-to-day -day living but you know I'm gonna take it I'll take what I can get and this is what I can get so we're just gonna go with it would you do you need to make every fucking enemy in the world Dude, you just you just spit out six spitty worms. Why would you do that? Sorry, I will look at chat as soon as this thing is dead. Because it needs to die. Um, best time to start as was now. Second best is the next day. Yeah, like... Oh my god, they... <laughs> you just docked me an entire point of damage? for one health up I'm gonna cr this run is making me cry <laughs> this run is honestly making me cry here well no it's not because I'm not crying so it's lyingly making me cry I'm definitely unhappy with the run though like this is not cool we are we are not VR that's that's for certain we managed to also not get a deal with the angel again and with the lower damage on a more difficult floor, there's a good chance we're not going to get the angel this time either. This would be a Garbo run, but we're in it together for this Garbo run. You know, you don't know, that's you. That's the right way to look at it. I'm going to look at it that way. I like I like your version much better than I like mine. <laughs> Which is that we're getting punished for having such an amazing run on the last run. Like, oh yeah, see? Think you're gonna have some good runs on this file, see? <laughs> nice shop you got here. Ah, this, I'm just gonna make wisps. That's, that's all I got. There goes the angel deal! You fucking fucks, I swear to god. <laughs> so wait, is this Repentance or is that still not on console? This is Repentance. It's not the most current build of Repentance, which is actually kind of a problem. Because a few of the, the most recent updates have been really important quality of life updates. That make some of the runs... I don't want to say easier, but... Like make them more manageable without cheating some of the some of the updates i'm not so like pleased with but like the changes to tainted asal i think are, are really good they make tainted asal runs much more much more duabla so we don't like have that as an option but this is the second to most recent build reminds me the Risk of Rain 2 console expansion is slated for Q2 2002. Uh, 2002! Yeah, go us! Um, 2022. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to the, to the Risky Rains. Luckfoot. I guess. It's not gonna save our ass, but we'll, we'll take it. I made sure Risk of Rain was one of the games that I got downloaded, like, first thing, so I wouldn't forget. I definitely want to be getting some risky rains going on. Also, gonna have to, uh, gonna have to, to to have a chat about thinking about like schedules and things coming up, like what the the new schedules are probably gonna look like, just so that folks have the heads up. But I'm currently thinking, I'm gonna bounce this off of folks, see what you think. I'm currently thinking of a what was i saying a, a monday tuesday thursday schedule 
which would leave me my weekends off in case I need to get things done and would not get in the way of the volunteer work that I'm doing. But I think I would still be able to make it home like from work and have time to have dinner and maybe a shower before the stream. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Uh, but I don't know like where y'all are at. Same time I imagine. Yeah, we're still going to be doing it at 8 o'clock. I think any earlier than that and it starts to make it pretty tough for people. Like where, where you are, Hive. Uh, not Hive, where you are, Kronos. But... Um... Yeah. Hi, what was I gonna say? And 8 o'clock makes it e easy for me to, like, make sure that I'm actually getting food. Because I am trying to eat now, like, eat real food, not depressed people food, so... There's that. I might be able to regularly, uh, last Thursdays. I might be able to catch a bit on Monday and Tuesday, so otherwise it sounds good. Okay. Let, let me think, you know, because it's not, like, set in stone. This is very much like a trial, a test balloon. I mean, I can do it on one of the volunteer days. Tears Up. Tears Up is amazingly good for us. Blanket is amazingly good for us. Are we turning it around? Probably not, but maybe. I, I could do it on one of the volunteering days. And I, I could conceivably do it on one of my weekends. Uh, don't schedule around me. This has to be convenient for you first and foremost. I mean, you're not wrong, Hive. You're definitely not wrong. But um, I want to, I, I want to try to, to kind of balance it as best as I can. Like, what, what can I do to make it work for everyone? Whatever it is. Is the... Whatever it is, it is the Neko Navy of stream schedules. I really have been enjoying Neko Navy, by the way, Coronas. I haven't been playing it as much as I should, but it, especially the last couple days I've been pretty busy. But what I've played of Neko Navy has been a who, and I wish that it was on PlayStation 4, because that would definitely be something I would be down with streaming. If I ever get... A, a, a laptop? Oh my god, we got an angel deal. I did not think they existed. We got a shitty angel deal. Good good to know. Good to know. Good to know that we got a shitty angel deal. I I love that for us. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> tears of laughter, but still tears. Um, if, if I ever get a computer, a computer, that is capable of streaming, Neko Navy will be the first game that we stream. That is a promise. This is such a mistake, by the way. Taking the pact, that is such a bad idea. We should not have done that. But, I mean, I honestly need to take any damage that I can get. And I'm not going to complain. But we are probably going to die. So there's that. Now, interestingly, I, I don't think I realized this before, but with Book of Virtues, you can still pull... You can still pull Angel Room deals if you've taken Devil deals, I think. Or maybe that's just the thing that Bethany does. But we've still got 21% chance for Angel deals. So that's kind of amazing. He you know this is a confession to make? I haven't been playing enough Neko Navy. I mean... For me, it's it's something that I... I can bop into and bop out of, Hirunda. It's not something I feel like I could play all the time. Just because I'm, I'm not that good. But one thing I do like about Neko Navy is it, it feels very fair. Like, it's got a lot going on on screen. It's very distracting. But it never feels like damage that I take was unavoidable. Just maybe unavoidable by me. Uh, Guff is coming back. Would you, who is uh, who is Gup in relation to Risk of Rain? Because I don't remember a Gup from Risk of Rain 1. And I know there's a lot of stuff in Risk of Rain 2 that I don't know. Not Guppy, I'm guessing. Slimy Spike Boy. 
Wait, who is Slimy Spike Boy? Kronos? I remember no Slimy Spike Boy. Oh shit, yes I do! Slimy Spike Boy is the dude that's in the, um... Is in, like, the, the magma caverns. Not the magma caverns, but in the, um... Hello, Brain Meats. Would you like to talk to me now? Um... Uh, is in, like, the gooey caverns that show up as an alternate to the magma caverns floor. Oh my god, Gup is great! I don't think I realized that that thing's name was Gup, but I love it. They're just so cute! That's kind of the problem with Risk of Rain, is, like, everything is cute. I don't hardly want to kill anything. Except for clay mans. Clay mans suck. And they deserve to die. Over and over and over again. But that's just me. That's just me. Not everybody feels the same way. Um, since we've it's completely have screwed up boss rush, I think it's in our best interest to take a look for a key. Looks like a big old tub of jello. I know, right? You know, how can you not be down with that? Gup looks like he's cosplaying the Blob, the, uh, the, the 1989 version of the Blob, and, you know, I'm there for it. Got our key. Do we search for another one? Do we search for other stuff? Have we gone to the- we haven't gone to the shop. I- I kind of would like to go to the shop, too. People who like Jello will be very pleased. And who doesn't like Jello? She asks, while not particularly liking Jello very much herself. Jello's got like a really weird I don't know. Like I don't wanna get too gross and like kinda gross people out, but <laughs> Jello always has this kind of skin like consistency to it. <coughs> Like, there's the jello part, but, you know, over top the jello part, it's like there's a jello skin that's kind of gross. Kronos has been working on drawing. Hopefully we'll put out two before 2022. It sounds realistic. Did you get your, um, your license thing sorted out, Kronos? Same reason I don't like custard. That's, like, super fair. I'm not a big Custard fan myself. I wonder if, if it's just, like, a lingering consistency issue. Because definitely, like, food consistency and food texture puts me off in big ways. Mm. And definitely, and, like, food consistency... Cons I... Mm. My brain is just going to insist that the word is contestancy instead of consistency. Thank you, brain, for letting me say that word. Uh, Kronos says, I was waiting for it to go on sale, but Entropy has given me a gift for the first time in the form of a free trial. Fucking awesome! Kronos, that is, that is super cool. We got Char Charm of the Vampire. That's all that fucking work for Charm of the Vampire. Nicholas Cage must be pleased. Although I kind of like headcanon Nicholas Cage is always being pleased. I don't know if that's true, but it just seems to me like the kind of person that unless the IRS is screwing with him is probably pleased a lot. 30 days free trial, so hopefully a sale rolls around in January. Well, I'm I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for you, Kronos. I meant to take that damage, that was totally damage that I wanted to take. Just this run, this run. I, I don't, I don't know what else to say besides this run. Hive's been drawing more. I was drawing yesterday. I don't know if you all, you all saw my new title card for the Isaac recordings, but I thought it was pretty schwep. I was very schwept about that card. 
Thank you so much, Hirunda. I appreciate that. It, it, it's just arts and crafts. Here at the empty room, we're all we're all doing the arts and also the crafts. Thank you so much. Kindness is appreciated. Although, like, my head is definitely too big. I mean, not in an ego way, although probably that as well, but just I feel like the proportions are really fucked up. And I can't draw hands, so, you know, that's a problem. But hands, I mean... A vague, flesh-colored blob? It, it does the trick. Right? All the great artists say that you don't need hands, you just need a flesh-colored blob. See, it's, it's the... it's the intimation of anatomy. As long as you can intimate that you have anatomy, and it's not the tales of a failed anatomy, Wait, the hot dog ends of the human. I... I feel like I know that quote, Hiruna. And also I feel like slightly disturbed by that quote. This just reminds me that everybody in... Uh, Street Fighter V has yaoi hands for better readability of attacks. <laughs> The thing is, like, I could see that in my mind perfectly. I fed my ferret and I came back to Yaoi hands. The stranger things have happened, buttons. Stranger things have happened. A Apparently, Street Fighter 2 has got the Yaoi hands going on. Hands are just metal tubes duct taped together. I. I feel like we might be operating on different anatomical principles, Hiruna, and that's okay. That's okay. Treachery of images. I feel betrayed. But betrayed in a good way. Oh shit. Like, I haven't been looking for the fool card at all. Anybody, if, if you see a skull with an X on it, let me know, because I'll forget and I really need to pick up that card. Or else, um, we won't be able to go on the alt path. And by alt path, I mean the dad path. Never mind, the card is right here. There we go. See, that was, that was easy. Just ask people to remind you of something and you find it immediately. I love it. Okay, now I do have three keys. So, that was totally not worth it. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Game, you gotta give me something, okay? You've given me so very little this run, and it's just... Now, I know we haven't really des deserved to get anything good, but at the same time, you're kind of just fucking with me. And I would like it if you didn't do that anymore. It would be cool. Basically, is what I'm saying is it would be cool. Gah! Just do the hands like an early Umineko. I have not read Umineko, so I, I'm just gonna take your word that that's a good idea. Are the hands like particularly nasty or... There's some amazing hands. Now I wanna check it out. And the next time that I pause, I think I will do that thing. Where's my item room? Where's my shop? Key is shiny. Yes. Uh, the shiny keys are electric keys. And they will charge your spacebar item. And they are amazing and we love them. Common fucking cold. G game. Is this like a challenge run? Is this what you're doing to me? Is you're like, let's challenge Risco. Let's, you know, make sure that she's really deserving of this content because look you know i'll just i'll just fuck up for fun half the time common cold common mfing cold what did we do folks what did what did we do to deserve this is the garbo all a test it freaking feels that way 
Um, gonna blow you up, dude. Gonna grab Dull Razor, even though I don't think Dull Razor is gonna have any effect. It does mean that we're gonna get Wisps every two rooms. And that's pretty cool. I honestly don't... Yeah, okay, so we just get the Wisp. It's nothing fancy. Mama! Mother! Tell your children not to walk my way. And then some other stuff. I... I haven't sung in a long time. And now I've, I've not... I can't anymore, I think. Fucking... Mom! Could you did not step on me? It's not that kind of relationship that we have. This is not a creepy manga or anime. We don't stand for that. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty safe in saying that we have no truck with that. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do about HP. That's, that's going to be our, our big sticking point, our big problem. Now we, we jump out. I mean, I think we, we may as well shoot for the moon and try to land among the stars of the beast path because it's going to be just as bad no matter what path we take. So why not? Oh, wait. Does the card dictate the next stage? Hold on a second. Kronos, um, I'm, I only caught that comment now. And therefore, I have no idea what it's in relation to. W w what did you mean? What were you intending to say? <laughs> to be honest, I forgot too. Uh, good to know. Good to know. I don't feel so bad now. Um, Jesus, Risco, what? Did you really have to take that damage? Probably wasn't that important if I forgot about it. I mean, that's a mood. That's a mood. It's a fair mood. I would love to take Whipworm, but... I don't... Okay, Risco, you've got to not take the damage, is the thing. You've... You, you, you can't... You can't be taking this much damage. Uh, you were asking about a skull card, and you asked us to look immediately before you found it. Oh, okay. So, the thing about the... The X skull? That is just cruelty. Game, that is just... Just absolute... Why would you do this to me? I can't... I can't take the bulb, but I need to take the bulb. <sighs> Shit. So this means we can't use our wisps anymore? Which is kind of a problem? Yeah, I... I we need all the help we can get. I, I wanted to be able to go on this path that we're currently on, but in order to get onto this path, you need to leave the mom fight, and you can't naturally do that because the, the door seals over. Now, if you bomb the skull with an X on it, you'll get the fool card, and the fool card will give you a teleport, which will allow you to leave the mom fight, will leave you, allow you to leave the room that the mom fight was in so that you can actually progress onto this stage of the game instead of going down the regular path to the light side or dark side. Which, just saying it all like that just makes it sound a lot more complicated than it really is. But that's, that's... What the fuck? Isco, what the, what the actual fuck? Just... Playing like uh, I'm just it uh, just shockingly bad, just shockingly bad plays. Like I I want to blame everything on the run, but I do need to own some of this damage as being just not really forgivable. We did we did find the full card though, and so we were able to go. Oh, it's Claire! The stream is going amazingly! Gang is almost all here. Uh, as far as I can tell, we haven't had any issues with uh, quality 
There haven't been any dropouts. There have been some mic problems, but the mic problems are completely separate from the things I was really super worried about. Although they will, will need to be dealt with at some point in the future. So yes, I think that we are actually back in the... Not business, because it's not professional, but, you know, we're, we're back in the streaming thing. And it feels so good. It's been so nice. We, we talked about Peter Jackson movies. So, like, definitely back on our bullshit. And I love that. Oh, yeah, stream quality is excellent. No drops or low bitrate. That's amazing. And I'm super happy to hear that. Because it wasn't expected. <laughs> I haven't really been able to keep an eye on the on the uh, the chat screen, so it's been a thing. Glad to hear it, and I'm glad everybody's here. Me too. I mean, I was. Uh, I didn't expect like folks wouldn't want to come back, but I just I kind of figured, you know, like. People, y'all have your lives. Y'all have your, your, your stuff going on, and you hadn't been streaming for. I don't know how long it would, almost five months, maybe more. So it wouldn't have like surprised me if you know people had just kind of made new schedules. So, I to to have y'all here, and even if that means the the world to me. Honest to dogs, I'm 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 so happy that that we can put together a space that is a, a comfortable space that you can you can spend time in. What? Did, did, was this the right way to do this room? That was a terrible room. I hate that. I kept waking up around 5 a.m. just out of habit. Oh my god, buttons! <gasps> ah, y'all are gonna. I'm. You all are as sweet as sponge sugar, goddammit. Sweet as candy floss, which is just another word for sponge sugar. I miss all of you. Like, it was... The last couple of months would have been a lot easier um, if, if I'd, you know, been... been able to, uh, to, to still be streaming, so... Like, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's good to be back. It's really, really good to be back. All live streams are fun as hell, but they don't resonate quite the same. <sighs> well, I... Uh, do any of, like, the whole livers spend a lot of time bagging on Zack Snyder? Because I feel like that's kind of a hallmark of our streams. <gasps> Um, this is not gonna save our bacon, but boy do I love Spoonbender. I am here for Spoonbender. I... I wish we had gotten extra health, but I'll take Spoonbender. Um... No, we can't do the boss trap room. As much as I would like to, I think that that would probably kill us with only three health. Uh, during off time, I managed to finish like two JRPGs. Damn, that's pretty darn good. Were those the ones that you were talking about in Left Stick Right Stick? The ones that had like the really awesome soundtrack? Because I think I remember you you, you mentioning uh, some JRPGs, but that I, I hadn't been familiar with them. Oh damn, I think when you stopped streaming, I hadn't seen all the Zack Snyder DC movies. Holy shit, that's a while back. I managed to finish a semester of Comp Sci? Jeez. I mean, the, the time is gone, gone. by. Just Technically it. just one, it was both twice. You mean it's gone. Gotcha. How can you have spent our savings? Oh, 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 Okay, um... Before we progress on, and just have a, a general love in it and I forget about, we are on the true ending path of Isaac. This is not a spoilers thing, this is a CW thing. At the beginning of each uh, 
floor one. As we progress upwards back towards home, so we basically go reverse through the game, uh, but the floors are much smaller. But on each you know, floor one, so depths one, basement one, whatever, there will be an audio track that plays at the beginning of the stage, at the beginning of the floor, of Isaac's mom and dad arguing. Um, it's... Uh, we're going after, like... It's, it's interesting, Claire, and I think that there could be... There's, like, a lot of good term papers on Isaac that are written in, like, waiting to be written in universities all across the world because basically almost every major boss is mom like you fight mom you fight mom's heart you um you fight mother uh, that we did in the the alt path and then we're gonna fight we're gonna try to get to i've only got three health so we might not make it uh we're gonna try to get to the beast and the beast is also mom so uh a lot of the bosses in this game are mom but what i want to say so the the audio recordings are Isaac's mom and dad arguing. It's pretty heavy, even though it's pretty short. Uh, the line delivery, especially in the next one, I find to be kind of affecting. Um, so if that's something that, like, family stress, family uh, drama issues, or broken homes are something that stress you, I'll try to just, I'll shout out like a quick, hey, we're going to go to another audio file in a second each time that we come up on those floors, but you might kind of want to think about that a little bit just in case, because I, I do think that the CD, CWs are kind of warranted here. But just so that you have a heads up. Oh, fudge. Okay, or we could just die. And if we just die, then we don't have to worry about hearing those, except we'll, we'll hear them every time that we do this... Path, unfortunately. There doesn't seem to be any way to turn off those audios, like those dialogues. They just it's part of the game, so Ooh, I put five hundred hours into Street Fighter V since the stream stopped. Oh my god. Ludo, good job, I guess. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, there's there's like stuff going on. You do not I mean, I, you could do, like, a Freudian analysis of this, I think. Uh, I think you could definitely go into matriarchal roles in very religious households. You could go into, like, discipline roles and things like that. Like, there's, you, you could do a lot of bullshit term papers out of Isaac. And I don't even think they would necessarily be bullshit, I just think that I wrote a lot of bullshit term papers, and so I just assume everybody else did too. Um, I did get pretty alright at it in the process, so... I made for Gold League. Is Gold League... and this is gonna sound like silly, but is Gold League like the top league? Or is there something that goes beyond that, like Platinum? Do we have a chance here? It's like third, uh, to be honest. Lower third. Even still, like, that's not so bad. I'd be proud. I'm proud of you, Ludo. I can be your proud auntie. They scale exponentially. Holy fuck. I don't want anything with exponential difficulty. Um, at all. Really? I don't want anything with any difficulty. I've had all the difficulty I need. <laughs> Thanks kindly. Need need way more points for the upper ones. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. All right, we're gonna go into another dialogue bit, so keep that in mind. If you want to take like a thirty He's second so look away. And just like his father. He's so look good you though. Up you're drunk to get on you. Shut up, man. Shut up. Man. Just keep pushing me like that. Leave it. Good. Leave. We'll be fine without you. Now, I don't know why I didn't just try to talk over that, since I was kind of worried it would bother people, but I always just get kind of caught by it. Uh, uh, but, yes. 
actually, aside from the health, we're doing pretty, pretty well here. I hope that we can at least get to Dogma, because uh, the boss track on Dogma, it's really fucking good. I'd like to play that for everyone, because it's pretty awesome. But, we've got a, got a ways to go here. Now, Ed McMillan... Oh, hold on, I can't, can't look quite yet. Because I got tainted enemies. Ed McMillan's uh, personal trauma roguelike is basically one big CW. It is and it isn't. It, it feels like to me, Ludo. Oh, shit, I forgot to give the heads up. Um, I think, like... Personally speaking, I, I feel like it. Isaac does such a good job of candy coating it that it's. Well, no, that's not fair. Okay. I think Isaac does such a good job of candy coating it that you're almost kind of used to it before it registers as CWE. But that might also be because the particular things that Isaac would require CWs for aren't things that I've had to deal with in my life. And that might be why I'm able to basically just kind of not get too messed up by it. But I could see how that might not be the case for other folks. Uh, I guess the dialogue is a little cartoonish. But I can definitely understand the CW. Um, I think the, for me, and it's a lot of it is in the delivery. For me, the one that was is kind of the the one that stands out is the second one that we've already passed. I don't find the the previous one that we just heard and the one that's going to be coming up on the next floor to be that bad. But again, that's like, that's kind of a me thing. I don't know how that, that goes for other folks. It's a great game, but there's a lot of stuff that could put people off. Oh, absolutely. And, um... I... I do think about that a lot when I recommend the game. That... It is one of those deals where it's like... It's a really, really good game, but if... Topic is something that bothers you, or presentation is something that bothers you, then it's, it can, I could see it really bothering someone. Why are you giving me all these teleport cards now? Why are you giving me hero font now? Actually, you know what, I want to check something. Okay, that's a good thing to know. As long as we've got at least a blue charge, we, um... We don't... Oh no, we definitely want Dim Bulb. As long as we've got at least a blue charge, we don't lose the um, bonus from Vibrant Bulb. This is reminding me of how people here told me they didn't like the mist because the cult leader lady was too outlandish and no one would act like that in real life. And well, America's sure making them reevaluate that. Wait, did we say that, Hive? And I very well might have, so if, if that was something that I said, then I, I deserve to eat the L on that, because, like, definitely not outlandish. Oh, people here, you mean Australia. I was gonna say, like, I, I feel like we would have been pretty down with, like, what was, what was going on with the cult leader lady. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much, but yeah, the aesthetic kind of is cute gross out. I, I... I do also know people think he... the game is just gross. Absolutely, Hive, and, and I think that's a valid criticism of the game. Like, well... I, I think a valid personal criticism for the game. I, I... I think the grossness personally works for it pretty well. And the cartoonishness of it... sells that. But for someone who's who can't find that amusing or finds that off-putting, I, I, they're not going to have any fun with it. Uh, 
bots! We got our first bot! Any of any of the mods wanna wanna pop that bot for me? Because I'm kind of trying to kill something and look at chat. I watched a bunch of Australian movies since last time, and I might have asked this before, but is every Australian movie on a level about how Australia sucks this place to live in? Um, thank you so much for that, Kronos, by the way. Appreciate it. Can always depend on you. Was there a follow-up bot? Achievement unlock bot has come to town. The castle and the dish. Wait, are those um are those two separate movies, Hive, or are they just one movie? I'm honest to God not sure. Yep. Okay, they are two separate movies. <laughs> Cause there was like wasn't there a Sean Connery movie called The Castle? Oh no, that's the rock. That's the rock. That's completely different. Uh, we don't need the fool, so we're gonna let that go. We are actually gonna make it to the dogma fight, which color me shocked, but I am shocked. I'm gonna do one more room. One more thing. Yes, what is it, Mr. Columbo? I'm a busy... Uh, William Shatner, I guess? William Shatner's an asshole. He could, he could be the villain. Uh, I keep thinking of this class I took in college called Connotating the Object? Oh, Confronting the Object! <laughs> okay, it's completely different. And, um, and how this game would fit that class super well. <gasps> we got a stapler! That, that's actually, like, really quite good because I needed the damage up. Our damage is trashed here. Red key, baby! We have unlocked Tainted Bethany, so even if we fail, even if we don't win this fight, we have gotten the Zealot. And Tainted Bethany is kind of a fun character, so I'm good with that. We don't want the key, because the key kind of sucks. We're taking Dull Razor. This is a fun movie about how the dish in parks was used as part of the moon landing. Like a fake moon landing? This sound sounds like something I've heard in an indie game before I played recently. I'll send the song post-stream. Oh, thank you, Kronos. I would love to hear that. This song that's coming up, by the way, is... This is a banger. This is uh, the only Ridiculon song that I could actually say is, like, really quite good. Hopefully we'll get to hear the part where he actually sings. But I am, uh, I'm definitely here for this one. I'm not here for this fight. This fight sucks. And by sucks, I mean I just, I usually, I, I die a lot in this fight. The fight itself is actually really quite good. I love the animation on, um, what the fuck hit me? Oh, no, no, okay, excuse me, could, could you not though? I love the animation on Dogma. I love the uh, the static effect. is so fucking slick. Now I am gonna have to be careful and quiet from now on because this sucks. So if I go quiet for a little bit, it's mostly because I'm trying not to die. Shit! Fire! No, I don't want to die. I want to want to beat Dogma. Against the Holy Spirit! Oh shit! God damn it! Oh! I was doing so well! Dogma is an amazing fight. Like, seriously? And Dogma works thematically. If I don't know if I'm going to do the Beast Path for the next run. Uh, but the next time that I do... It 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 kind of tooled up at the end, Hirunda. It got it got better at the end. I'm I'm a bit surprised about that. Um, the next run I'll do, I'll I'll make sure to win that fight so that we can see the the cutscene that comes after it, because the kind of the representation that Dogma is 
a creature that is the embodiment of the prostatalization. I know I pronounced that wrong right there. Of the evangelical speakers that Isaac's mom is watching. And when you win the fight, like, it, the gloop, like, dogma collapses into this puddle of television static gloop. And it actually goes into Isaac's eyes as though, like, body horror goes into his eyes. Or at least his body horror as, like, a cartoony version of body horror goes. Um, so it's a very on-the-nose metaphor, but it, like, it's actually pretty cool i think it works really well but like i i like that fight it's just it's a it's a really tough one and sometimes it just decides that it wants to be like the ring form angel forever and dodging those uh those silly ass feathers is is a pain in the ass it's straight up a pain in the ass this will make good material for my lbp level chronos Kronos. Kronos, I've been banging away at my hub. I'm kind of happy with it, actually. Like, it's a pretty decent hub. It looks very much like my apartment, only bigger. But it, it's not that I tried to make it bigger. It's just that the scaling for sack thing is really a, kind of a pain in the butt. Because if I scaled things to sack thing so that they actually matched, like how things are scaled to me in real life, they would be super teeny tiny, and they would lose all definition as objects. Like my bookcases are actually pretty short, like my bookcases are only waist high, but waist high on a sack thing is like, you know, it's, you know, like, can't do anything with that, so. Um, but we did, unfortunately, that, that run did come to a close, even though it was a total Garbo run. It did come to a close. And I think we've got time for at least one more run. Maybe one more run and a greed run. It depends on how long it takes. But uh, I'm going to take a, a five minute break. Going to get some water down my throat. And completely negate that with a cigarette. I'm going to have a few cookies. Because I have cookies. And they were purchased with actual money. Hmm. Um, some OJ perhaps. But if you need to take the next couple of minutes to to stretch, you know, to do a little bit of stretching, to work out the kinks in your back, to get some water down your throats, and to take any medications that you need to take, and to know that you are loved by the community, and the community is here. Um, Hidunda, uh, if you got to sleep, get yourself some sleep, Hidunda. It was wonderful to have you here and I look forward to seeing you next time as soon as we've got the schedule kind of I'm sure this is going to be the schedule I'll put a tweet up and I'll make sure that you are tagged in it but I'm gonna be right back y'all do your stretches watching the, the past couple of weeks I've been on this movie binge also we can thank Hive for the redacted because I can actually watch movies now all right in alphabetical not chronological order I have watched army of the dead bad taste blue monkey and blue monkey motherfucking blue monkey is a trip eight-legged freaks Fear Streets 1, 2, and 3, or 1994, 1978, and 1666, as the case would be. Frankenstein's Army, which... Got a, I got some words about Frankenstein's Army. Ginja Snaps, which I, I found myself liking a lot more than I kind of expected. Mayhem, for about the fifth time, because... Uh, I, the more times that I watch Mayhem... The 
Eight-legged freaks is tr eight-legged eight freaks is bad. Eight-legged freaks is an awful movie. Um, it's not as bad as Army of the Dead, but it's really bad. Um, the more I watch Mayhem, the less I feel like I like it. But there are still aspects of Mayhem that I do really like. And I also watch Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. <laughs> Ginger Snaps probably worked better on account of it was written by a woman. Um, quite possibly. Absolutely, quite possibly. I like the fact that Ginger Snaps was not afraid to be gory. Demon Knight, I... Demon Knight was a lot better than I remembered it being. It was a lot more enjoyable than I remembered it being. But like... Billy Zane. Okay. Like... Billy Zane is like the... The earthly embodiment... Of the platonic form of lewdness. Like, he could just be doing anything. He could be cutting his toenails. He could be, like, having a croissant. And he just makes everything he does look completely lewd. Like, Billy Zane just looks like he's eye-fucking the camera every time he's on screen. And I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it, but, like, that's kind of a heck of a curse to labor under. How, how does he get anything done? How does he go to the store for eggs, looking like he does? He's probably not even a particularly lewd person, it'd be one of those you know, movie irony things where maybe he's like a like a patron saint of virtue and would never take advantage of anybody. I don't know. I've never heard anything bad about Billy Zane particularly. But like it's not even like sexy. It's not even necessarily attractive. Although I could see how it would be attractive to somebody who would you know who would be interested, but like just like he just exudes this raw lewdness. He's like looter than Ron Jeremy. I mean, Ron Jeremy's just like oily and creepy and nasty. Although he definitely has like this vague aura of like fuck. Not even sex, but fuck. Um, but no, Billy Zane is just like just. God, there's something, especially in Demon Knight, like, maybe he just got really great direction or something, but, yeah, it was weird, it was a weird experience. I just wanted to reach into the screen and say, stop looking at me, Billy Zane. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one, though. Demon Knight was a good one. It had, like, the, uh... <laughs> I'm saying... I'm, I'm saying, I, I'm just throwing it out there. I wonder what he's doing these days. Maybe he's, maybe he's just loving coke and put on sunglasses, put on a mask. He can cut the aura down with an excuse. Just saying it around is what he's doing. You had him, you had the dude from, um, you had the, the dude from, uh, Wings? Like, the, the good-natured mechanic from Wings was, like, the, the sleazy S&M guy. You had, um, who else was in that? Like, every actor in that was, uh, just sticks in your head is semi-famous? 
Murray Futterman from Gremlins was in it? Although he's great in just about everything that he's in. He had that annoying kid, but the annoying kid just, he bites it anyway, so like, whatever. John Larroquette in an amazing cameo. All right, we are back. Uh, I just showed Appel the thing in the blob this week, and seeing his reaction to those the first time was delightful. That is a an amazing double feature. And like it strikes me that the like the thing in the blob are both remakes. And there's always like why are they remaking this movie? Why are they remaking that movie? You know, remakes suck and it's like Yeah, I don't know. There's some good ones out there. Thing was an amazing remake, Blob was an amazing remake, The Fly was an amazing remake. Night of the Living Dead, I think, is not as substantive as the original Night of the Living Dead, but it's actually a much more watchable movie. The The remake of Night of the Living Dead is a, is a far more watchable movie than the original, I find. Um, and it's got Patricia Tallman in it, and she's like rocking a whole look. All right, um, just a quick heads up, not a content warning, just a heads up. So when we went into that room and we unlocked Bethany on the beast path, uh, this is what that means. So every character in Isaac has an alternate version character with their own unlocks, their own gimmicks, their own uh, like special abilities or special whatevers. Uh, and you can see the doors. I love the icons for these doors. Like, just that alone is pretty cool. But, so not only do you have like all the regular unlocks on the base characters, but then you've got all the unlocks on the tainted characters. So, a good call, Kronos. That's a good call. I played a little bit of Yume Nikki. Kronos, and I, I want to play more of it, but it didn't, um, like, I, I feel like it's something that I, I have to give more space to, to appreciate, because it's kind of, uh, they don't really tell you what the heck you're doing. You know, I'm just going to use, uh, Lem Lemagetin. I've got to look up how to pronounce that. Lemagetin. Now, Bethany's gimmick is that she's got that book in the lower right corner. Uh, tainted Bethany's gimmick. She's got, she's got the book in the lower right corner. She charges the book by clearing rooms, but she also charges the book by uh, picking up red hearts. So she's kind of the opposite of regular Bethany. Regular Bethany can only pick up red hearts. Tainted Bethany cannot pick up red hearts. Uh, but red hearts are generally a lot more prevalent in the game than Silver Hearts and Black Hearts. So she has more trouble with health. She can have more trouble with health, but she'll always have charges for her book. And that's important because what her book does is the Wisps that it summons, uh, they provide benefits as, they provide benefits as items. And, you know, they give you the effect of the item, both in stat changes and in uh, whatever special effect the item might have. And then you have that for as long as the, the Wisp is alive. So if the Wisp gets killed, then that item's effect goes away. Now, the items, some items don't show up. Items that, like, only give you health don't show up. Isaac's Tears? This is... Why would you do this game? Why would you why would you play me like this? Uh, Isaac er, items that only give you health don't show up. Active items don't show up, it's only passive items. But otherwise, like if if you get a really good set of items and you're picking up a lot of charges, you can just roll the game. And if you can get converter, because of some issues with how converter deals with the fact that Tainted Bethany can't pick up 
red hearts. She can never have red hearts, but the converter makes red hearts that basically it gives you infinite charges on her book, which is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And I, I mean that literally. It's fabu. Um, as a game, it's as non-game as it gets. Most of the... Oh, hold on a second. I want to make sure I don't take any damage here. Most of the fun is people applying meaning to what you see and how it might apply to the character. I can see that. I can see that being a, being part of the fun of the game. I mean, it seems interesting, don't get, get me wrong. It's just like... Even with games like Gone Home where people kind of complain that there's a walking it's a walking simulator and you're not really doing anything but like i felt like gone home had a clearer hook as to what it expected you to do and what your place in the world was and i kind of don't get that from you yumeniki and it, it doesn't have to have that but i think it would make things a little bit easier to engage with I love the fact that they gave us Ghost Pepper. Like, Ghost Pepper is so good. So, so good. Mm, I mean, Isaac's Jar of Tears is pretty trash, so let's take Book of Secrets. Um, and I think I'm going to try for Mega Satan. You may, Nikki, might. Be, uh, very well be the OG of walking simulators, but I have nothing to prove that. I mean, it's old enough. Like, Yume Nikki's been around for a while, isn't it? Wait, does Desert Bus... Does Desert Bus predate Yume Nikki? I hadn't realized that Desert Bus was that old. Uh, I don't know, I'm just making shit up, but Desert Bus is old. That's interesting. I, d I did not realize that. I mean, granted, I only know Desert Bus from what y'all have told me, so that does kind of put a bit of a damper on it, but... Ooh, XL Floor. We might actually make Boss Rush, and wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be special? Chariot, I don't need... Wait, wait, Desert Bus is 1995? Fuck me sideways! Oh, you absolute dog! Um, I didn't expect the bomb to do that, and I really wish it hadn't, because I would like to blow up that rock. Desert Bus is a Kuso game more than it is a walking simulator. So it's kind of like Takeshi's Castle. It's definitely Kuso on purpose. LSD Dreams Entertainment predates... Predates... <laughs> not predates, that's completely different. Predates Yume Nikki. Huh. Okay. I'm... I feel like I'm learning so many things. I would... Like... The LSD Dreams Simulator, but... Uh, more in like the... In a, in a real sense, not like... You know, in a game sense, but that's just me. I think that would be that would be kind of great. Or actually, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know if that would be wonderful for my mental health at the moment. But it's been a while, is the thing. You know, like 20 years. <laughs> ah, little sweet dream emulator. Little sweet dreams dream em emulator allegedly. Huh. Yeah, I don't want number one. Number one is not what we needed. Oh, fuck you and your D7. What, what, a D7 is trash. Yo. I don't need trash. I need good items. I am... Game, I am disappointed in you. Trying to pass off the D7 like something that we need? I think not. I'm losing my wisps, and this makes me sad. 
you need to, I think we lost Ghost Pepper? Oh, we lost Ghost Pepper? Uh, do we fight the boss right now? Or do we... I think we look for the item room. As much as I would like to get boss rush with Bethany, um, maybe the item room gives us a better chance of actually, you know, not dying. And not dying is usually a good thing. I think we're, we're pretty cool with the not dying. Hey, 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 buddy, buddy, buddy. LSD Dream Emulator is an exploration game developed and published by Asmic Enter Ace Entertainment for the PlayStation. In LSD, the player explores... Hold on a second, I gotta take a look at the laptop. Um, the player explores surreal environments without any objective. The player can only move and touch objects that will warp them to another setting. The game's concept is based on a dream diary kept by an Asmic Ace employee for over a decade. It's... Isn't Asmic Ace, like, don't they do anime? Or localizations? I feel like that name is familiar. And I can even see the logo in my in my head. Ooh, Luna. Luna is a that's not, but we need bombs. We can't we can't get Luna to pop for us if we don't have bombs. Shit. Okay, first off, let's clear off the, the trash here. Waha! Waha! Asmic Ace, Japanese, uh, formerly Asmic Ace Entertainment, Incorporated. Film Production dis Distribution Company. Okay, because I know I've seen their, their logo before movies before. Give me bombs. Give me all the fucking bombs. I, I notice, game, that you did not give me all the bombs, you gave me a bomb. Oh, oh shit, no, we don't want the chariot. Why did you do that? They scope, you can't... The chariot, that's a, that was a bad call. One problem with, with Bethany is that, like... Almost any effect that kills enemies on contact will cause you to lose wisps. So... Things like Chariot, things like Sacrificial Dagger, uh, Cube of Meat, like they're not as useful for her because you're basically making yourself weaker every time that you, you use those items. Now, we've used the Book of Shadows four times, so it might... Yes! 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 That was, was excellent. The Book of Shadows effect now, if you use the Book of Shadows after you've, like, already gotten all the normal effects from it, the, the compass, the map, and the secret map effects, it'll just open all the secret doors for you. You don't need to use bombs to get them. Which is slick. Oh! The thing of Japanese entertainment, I also watched... Although, I, I told you about this hive, but I also watched, um... Uzumaki. And Uzumaki was fabulous, and I love it. And I... I will have beef with people who are not down with the Uzumaki, because I think it was amazing. Granted, that might just be me, but still, it was surreal, it was lovely, it was delightful, it, it had really weird stilted acting, but frankly, the really weird stilted acting was very much in line with the very weird stilted dialogue of Uzumaki already, so, you know, like, you can't really say it wasn't true to the uh, source material. I almost kind of want to watch it again, but I've got like 170 movies on my list that I need to, to, to get get to. So it's probably not going to happen, is what I'm saying, but damn it's good. The only downside to Uzumaki is it just kind of ends very abruptly. It's just done. But I don't think they really had a lot of choice. Because the... 
it's such a giant series that I don't think they could have like wrapped everything up into a nice little bow. Still need to do my yearly Madoka rewatch. Are are you not like living Madoka right now? Is is the the plague not enough for you? I should rewatch Madoka myself. I do like it, so there's that. Going through all the trouble to get that item room? Not worth it. Not worth it at all. We kind of got screwed. Aren't we having all Pergus Knight right now? See? Same brain, Ludo. We are we are sharing a a brain. And the same the, the very same self same Oh, come on. Now you're going to give me the freaking golden key? What a waste. I'm sure there's a bit of downtime before the sequel drops. Wait. M yeah? I'm confused. Didn't they already have the sequel movie? Or am I mistaken? I'm probably mistaken. What? Look, Megama. A fourth film was announced a while back. Wait, no shit? I didn't even know there was a third one. As in post rebellion. Why? Like, he could, he could just leave it alone. That would be fine. He could just leave it alone. Doesn't, didn't, you don't need to, to give everything six million sequels. If there's any movies that don't need a sequel, I think... Madoka is... Oh, come the fuck on, dude! That's not fair! It, dude, you, you, you were sitting right up next to a, a block. I couldn't go around you. What a jerk. Fragile... You might be a good Nine Inch Nails song, but you're a jerk. Rebellion is the one that you haven't seen. No, I definitely don't know Rebellion. I've got to watch that. I've, I've, I've yet to watch that. God, why did, why did everything get so cold in my apartment? Just like suddenly, for no reason at all, just freezing cold. Offhand, uh, off topic, but we had a Neko Navy comment pop up yet. Also, when are you going to watch to play with Chronos uh, commentary? I we, we did talk a little bit about Neko Navy. Uh, not a huge amount, but a bit. And I would love to stream Neko Navy, but it is not on PlayStation 4 as far as I know. So, unfortunately, not going to be able to get a... A, a, a dual commentary track on it. Although hi, Hive Chronos, if if you ever wanted to uh, become a streamer, Neko Navy is uh is you, you could start there. Rebuild was better than I expected, but definitely had a lot of stuff I didn't need, and absolutely not. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I want to watch that, but I need to refresh my memory with rebuilds 1 through 3. Oh, and that's why Hive is saying absolutely not. Gotcha. It's basically commentary on the whole end of the thing. I, I remember you, you kind of telling me a little bit about that, Hive. I'm gonna have to sit down with uh, Rebuild, I think. It sounds pretty cool. Well, the, the, the last one sounds pretty cool. I don't hardly remember anything from him, though, because... Last time I saw him was in the movie theaters. Well, the last time I saw the first one was in the movie theaters. I think I saw the second one on network TV. This run. Like... I, I like Bethany. I don't know why we got to get shafted so hard. But we definitely are getting shafted very hard. 
Maybe I, I should be using her book more. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Hi! <laughs> just sat, I just sat there and walked into that. Uh, watch uh, End of Evangelion uh, EOA 2 because it's like the antithesis of a lot of that. EOA is... Because I thought you were you were gonna you were talking about end of Evangelion, but it's clearly is not the case. Just I I, I can't. Yeesh. 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 What was I gonna say? Oh, it is end of Evangelion. Okay, so I just got. Why is it EOA? Unless that was just a, a mistype. Shouldn't it be EOE? This run has no sauce. There is no sauce on this run. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I was a little bit confused there is all. The first one is a decent distillation of the beginning of the series. The second one was its own fun thing. The third one was very, very bad. I, I remember your pain at the third one. You were, you, were, you were quite clear in communicating it. And I don't mean that in a snarky way. I mean that in a way that I understood completely what you meant. It was pretty bad, to be honest, at the end. Uh, I just wanted to see Pirate Asuka. Honestly. That's, that's what I was there for. I was like, Pirate Asuka seems really cool. Radical! I mean, kind of, I guess. A radical departure from taste and good sense? Wait, no, actually rad? Not... Oh, okay, the ra... I thought you meant at the end of the third part, not the end of the fourth part. Okay, ne never mind, I get you. I get you, that was me. That was, that was just... Me not understanding things. <laughs> ah, this run. I was oscillating between this is as awful as the third one and this is the best thing that's ever been made. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good oscillation. Hmm. I I'm gonna have to watch it. There's just the, just the way it is. Could you give me more good stuff? I would like more good stuff because this run is a, a ball of trash. Fair warning, it is very horny. Uh, is it like, is it more horny than Evangelion usually is? Because I was under the impression that Evangelion, <gasps> oh, curved horn. Evangelion was already pretty horny. Uh, Cross this back to my original point. I am, I'm apprehensive to the existence of a new Madoka film, but I'm infinitely curious what they could possibly do. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know I've I've kind of talked about it a couple years back when when I when I was watching Madoka, but I I really feel like the the story is nicely complete, and I don't really know what like the purpose is of having it it's horny enough that people started commenting about how obviously horny it was uh, that's it's more nakedly are, are you trying to tell us that there's boobs when you say that it's more nakedly horny because you know, it sounds like a boobs thing. The fan service is almost fourth wall breaking. Oh my god. That's quite horny. Did, they don't break the camera with boobs, do they? Because that would be, I think that would be a lot. That would be a lot. I don't know if we would want that. I hate this room and we're just going to skip it. I don't even know why I'm going through the trouble. 
They basically look in the camera and be like, you want this, right? As for Madoka's spin-off adaptation, I haven't watched past season one. It's based on the gacha game, which means there's like a million characters. Uh, that sounds fine. And by fine, I mean unnecessary. I think that's the word I'm looking for is unnecessary. In the end of Evangelion, it felt um, more like everything's shit, so let's also put some gross sexual stuff in there, too. Yeah, I mean, there's... End of Evangelion's got some pretty gross stuff going on in it, so... But it's... The horniness in ev End of Evangelion seems very much, like, meant to be gross. Whether or not, like, you feel it's successful in what it was trying to do, or if it was even trying to do something worth doing. I mean, you're not wrong, Hive. <laughs> it's kind of famous for that. The rebuilds are more like... Here's fan service, but we are also self-aware about it. Hmm. I don't know. Got ideas about that. It's kind of like, you know, the whole thing about you can't make a satire without making the thing that you're satiring. I don't know if that's a, a fair comparison here, but... This run, like, even with curved horn, we just, this run just sucks. Pretty fly. Pretty fly. Pretty fly for a white girl, I guess. It does shift to la live action footage of people in the theater watching a movie. Is that in End of Evangelion that you're talking about, or in Rebuild? Because, like, there's the whole theater bit in End of Evangelion, too. Okay, so, right. That is, uh, we're, we're on the same page, then? Which is good. I was glad to know that I actually know what people are talking about. Rebuild has its own take on the theater scene. Huh. I would like to see that take. Oh, god darn it. Maybe I'll make that a thing, like, I could do for my New Year's. Because I'm not going out, like, for New Year's to any parties. Because, you know, got the whole plague going. So I'd, I'd kind of like to avoid parties. But... Maybe I could just do, like, a huge movie night? That would be kind of nice. I gotta go, gotta go to work. Uh, take care, everyone. Glad to see everyone back. Claire, it was wonderful to see you. I hope that your work is not terrible. Because I know that sometimes work can be. But yes, yes, please enjoy your... Enjoy your day to the extent that it is enjoyable. And give, give my love to your kids. The, uh, the kids' pictures are always appreciated. Ah, the sun! Yay! We the got sun. the sun! That's so wonderful for us. Go us! Uh, you have to watch the series. Uh, watch the end of the series, watch the end of Evangelion, read about the history of the production. And uh, read about Anno's depression, read about the fan reaction at the end of the series, and then watch all the rebuilds. And then you'll get what Rebuild 3.1.0 is about. It don't... Hi! You're, you're gonna crush Kronos! With crushing! That's, that's like 20 years of work to ask somebody to do. Also inform yourself about the production of the rebuild movies, 
and how the more of a cooperation between Anno and that other guy, that other guy, you know, him? No, not the one from Powerpuff Girls. It's very much a referendum on the series, the fandom and his staff. What, am I remembering wrong or was Ballantime Fantasy kind of like a, a whole shit show? I'm not remembering wrong, am I? So I feel like it was a shit show. Okay. Was there, um... Oh, fucking spiders. Wasn't there like an... Like a visual sensitivity epilepsy thing going on with that as well? Valentine Fantasy... Sh Fantasy, holy shit, that's so good. Wait, what? Did I... Oh, I did fuck it up. It's, it's Ballad Fantasy. I wasn't, wasn't trying to make it funny. It just kind of happened. The final boss, yes. How does it... Uh, I, I want to say how does that happen, but I know how it happens since the production teams don't like seem to think very much about people with photosensitivity but that's awful oh god I almost kind of just want this run to end <laughs> honestly I that did not mean that I I didn't take that damage on purpose I think the long and short of production of Balan is good idea, bad studio. <laughs> yeah, but like, I mean, Hive, you, you, you kind of want to think that, that Cyberpunk is its own, like, black hole of everything that possibly could go wrong in people's minds and hearts actually did, but is not indicative. But it totally is. Also, I have a clip of Ano saying he also made it so he could give a bunch of people production credit on an Ava, trying uh, to further their career. Huh. So he's kind of like pulling a uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis, uh, Bird Eye Gordon type of thing. That was terrible, and I hated it. Or no, I'm thinking of Roger Corman. Roger- Oh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> that was an awful run. And honestly, I'm kind of glad it's over. That wasn't a poodle. That was not a poodle. That was a, that was a shit run. Uh, that was not really our run to lose. It was our run to maybe scrape out a win for. And I am not surprised that we failed. <laughs> the, the run was not totally losable. Like, I think that it could have been won. But not with the level of play that I got going on. Um... All right, that's that's good though. This is maybe it's a good time to do kind of a, a bit of a wind down and a wrap up Because we're getting close to the three-hour point. I do need to wake up tomorrow at 430 in the morning So, you know, there's that Actually, no, no, I mean I do need to wake up tomorrow at 430 in the morning. There's no 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 question about that Also jumping right back in with both feet um, I feel both ganky but also kind of exhausted so yeah, let's let's wind things down. I think what we're gonna do is uh probably like another couple of weeks for just kind of randomy gamey type of stuff. I'll probably do Little Big Planet three next time. Maybe get a little bit of risky rains going in there. Uh, probably at least a little bit more of Isaac uh, 
I don't know about Gungeon. Maybe Gungeon. I still don't know if, like, all the save files carry over. I've been finding that out game by game. I found at one of the used shops a copy of Biohazard 4 for a grand total of 1800 yen, which is pretty amazing price. So I think we might try Biohazard 4 for our next long form game. Which is kind of keeping in the pattern, because we were going to do that giant Resident Evil, like, do the full series thing, except for Resident Evil 5, because no way I'm touching that with a 10-foot pole. Um, so we might do might do Biohazard 4 for the next long-form game, but that probably won't be until uh, 2022, maybe midway through January, I think. Um, thank you, Buttons, and... and Everyone just... This was... Uh... <laughs> yep. Getting all... The, get all teary up here. Um... This was the nicest gift you could have given me. Uh, tonight. It's... Been... Rough. <laughs> Last five months have been pretty rough. Uh... But seeing all y'all... And just, just hanging out and shooting the shit and, like, this was so nice. It just was just super cool. And thank you. Thank, thank you all for coming back. So, I'm uh, thinking Monday will be the next stream tentatively. And between now and Monday, I'll put some real thought into what the schedule's like. And we'll know for sure the, the upcoming schedule on the Monday night stream. But that's going to do it for us here this go about. So um, thank you so much from me, Disco, here in Tokyo. Not in Osaka, in Tokyo. Because I've been fucking that up every video I've recorded. From me, Disco, here in Tokyo. To all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be. Thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigasamirotasai, and not a see you, and ciao.